What's going on, Nasty Nation? It's Nasty, and today we're going to be doing a full game commentary as a way to teach you the ins and outs of how to carry Ezrakhan. Uh, just before we get started, though, you can take a look right here to see what runes I'm going to be running during this game. And with that being said, let's get it going. Alright, so a couple things that I want to point off right off the bat. Uh, as Rakan, you can either go for Spell Thieves or Coin to start off the game. Uh, but because we're we're in a lane that I'm not expecting to win because I have a scaling ADC um, with Vayne, uh, I don't think I'm going to be too aggressive, so taking Spell Thieves wouldn't be that beneficial. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is this right here. Uh, what I was going to say is their team is really good for invading. Um, so I was trying to ping my team to stack up in this bush at the start of the game to, ex uh, to predict that. Um, unfortunately, they weren't able to follow along, but at least I was there to, um, scatter some vision. Another thing as Rakan is I like to usually get a level 1 bush cheese if I can, um, just by going somewhere over here and uh, sitting there with my ADC to try to get an early lead. Um, unfortunately, not only did Vayne uh, not follow me, but we had to leash bot lane um, anyway. So uh, we're just going to start out with a standard uh, meetup in the bot lane with both bot lanes having to uh, leash. So right now, for whatever reason, Ezreal's not in lane. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a chunk there, but I'm going to try to zone them off a little bit because they were uh, late to lane. And I'm going to try to punch them just a little bit for that. Ended up losing the trade, but it's okay for now. We're also going to be looking to get the level 2 before them here. Take that trade and pop a potion. The other thing is, is even though it seems like we're losing trades right now, uh, Bard ended up going refillable instead of the standard 3 potion start, so we're going to be able to last longer in this lane, uh, even if we are losing trades little by little. Unfortunately, right now, the lane is in a really bad position, and I can't really go in uh, safely, so I'm going to have to help Vayne push this wave in, so then it'll eventually reset. Not too much action going down in the bot lane, and I feel that if I stay right now, I'm not going to be accomplishing much. Um, so I'm just going to do a little cheesy roam over to the mid lane here and see if I can get anything accomplished. Missed my W there, kind of my fault, but at least we're adding some pressure, which is all that matters for now. Back in lane now, unfortunately Vayne got chunked out just a little bit while I was roaming. Nice. Gonna try to help Vayne push out this wave. Uh, Seems like I'm pretty sure their jungler is topside, so we should be safe here. Um, a little bit greedy of us to stay, um, but if we are able to push this in and deny them all this farm, it's going to pay out or pay off really well for us. I think it's important to point out that even though we were lower than them at the start of that fight, uh, the reason that we were able to win it is because Ezra eed forward uh, for no reason really. Um, and on top of that, Bard hit his Q, but he didn't land or manage to land a stun uh, while doing so. Um, at the same time, I was able to land my knockup and get my ignite off before uh, they were able to heal. So all those put together, we were able to win that fight uh, pretty decisively, which was really nice.
Usually I like to start roaming right after I'm coming back from base. Um, unfortunately, my Katarina wasn't in lane yet. She had just died. Uh, so my only option here was to run back. Bard's overextending. We're going to try to trade with him, but we're not going to overcommit because there's a large minion wave there. And we're just going to back up and take the win in that trade. Uh, my W is up again in 5 seconds though, so I'm going to look to go pretty aggressive. Uh, we have a BF sword to a tier advantage, so uh, if the minion wave is, is in a decent spot, we should be able to trade with them. Uh, right now, ideally, we don't want to though. And on top of that, there's the Twisted Fate here. Um, so we don't really want to be pushing up in any situation. Another thing I want to point out, just for those that aren't familiar, uh, with Rakan, it's the standard uh, max order of W into E and then into Q. Um, I think some people uh, like to max Q second, but this is definitely um, my go-to option, I would say. I'm going to play it off like I don't know the Katarina's coming. I'm going to flash forward, land that, get out of the way so that they can't land the stun. Make sure my Vayne gets that kill. Nice. Right there, I made sure to not overcommit, uh, and what I mean by that is I didn't want to move forward too quick and give away that uh, we were getting a gank coming. Um, instead, I think in those situations, it's better to sit back, uh, pretend that the gank's not coming, and then just use your flash to close that gap. A couple more things that I should probably point out. Um, I decided to back here because I didn't feel that we could get the turret, um, and even though it's probably pretty close at this point, I don't actually want that turret yet because we are winning this lane, so we have a lot more kill per, uh, pressure in this lane. So I want to stay in it as long as I can. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is, although we're not considered in the Ardent meta anymore, I still think Ardent is the go-to first uh, item to buy in just about any solo queue game. Uh, so that's the route that I'm taking this game. I'm also sitting mid now. Uh, Bane hopefully should have backed. Um, she might lose her life here. Um, there's nothing that you can do about these situations. She's going to cancel on out of there as well. Um, there's nothing you can do about those situations. Uh, all you can do is just try to direct your ADC in the right direction um, and back uh, when you're supposed to back, and hopefully they'll follow. Um, if they don't, there's not much you can do about it. Just do whatever you can. Um, do whatever is in your control, uh, and don't worry too much about what your teammates are doing. And usually it's not a good idea for supports to sit around like this um, in a solo lane and soak up XP. Um, because XP, CS, gold, um, although it's, it's always nice, it's not the most valuable thing um, in the world for a support. There's better things you could be doing with your time like roaming. Uh, but just because I roamed a lot so far in this game, I'm a little bit behind in CS. Um, and on top of that, it's a really big wave, so it'd be sad for um, somebody to miss out on this opportunity. Gonna clean that up as well as I can. Now I'm gonna leave because their uh, enemy bot lane is not in lane. No point in me being there. Vayne has a free farm. Gonna lend a little bit of a helping hand over here. Um, and now I'm gonna make my way over here, over to this action, and see if I can help out. This is a super greedy play. I'm not sure this is the best idea. Um, but it looks like it's going to work out. Very greedy of me to just walk blindly through the tower there. Um, somebody easily could have cut me off. Um, and I would have been stuck under tower. Which would have been really bad. Um, but I think because we're ahead at this point in the game. And all my other lanes seem to be doing really well. Um, we have a bit of an advantage there. And I was willing to take that risk and go for that play. And now I know Katarina wants to back. She just picked up quite a bit of kills. Um, so at this point, she's going to look, be looking to back, and I'm going to help her uh, back as soon as I can, or as soon as she can, by helping her push out that wave. And on top of that, we got Ardent, so we're looking really solid this game. It also looks like my Vayne just died trying to make a play in the bot lane. Um, no point in me going bot lane at this point uh, anymore because my ADC is not there. No point in a support sitting in a lane by himself. He's not going to accomplish anything. 
Uh, instead, I'm going to look to move it to the top side of the map and get any kind of plays done I can here. Katarina gets a solo kill mid, so there's nothing I can do up there. And now I'm going to make my way into the top side of the map. Maybe see if I can help out Rakan. All right, excuse me, help out Kled. And uh, nonetheless, just get some vision done. But he's going to get a solo kill as well. So now all that I can really do, since all the laners are kind of... Uh, handling business on their own. I'm just gonna help to push down towers uh, wherever my teammates are pushing. Didn't get the assist there, that's fine. Um, I didn't want to flash or use my ult unless I absolutely needed to. Instead, what I decided to do is just hold on to it until I was absolutely going to be in range. Um, doesn't really matter though because they end up not needing me anyways. Now if I take a look at the map, mid seems to be the furthest turn out. Um, so I'm going to move away from top even though we had uh, a small push going on up there. Well, initially I was. Now what it looks like I'm going to do, make a little play over here. Just like that. Um, so what I was able to do there is just by keeping my eye on the minimap, uh, I was able to see where the progression was happening um, in the game. I, I thought the play, the next play was going to be happening in mid lane just because that was the furthest turn out. Um, but luckily I was paying attention and I was able to get down um, into the top lane to help Kledi pick up that second kill. And now I'm going to be proccing Ardent on him with my shield and helping him push down this tower. At this point, we're up 22 kills to seven. I haven't been the most impactful in this game, but I've been getting around the map nonetheless. Um, and at this point, I don't see that there's any way of us throwing this game. Um, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and finish my uh, Eye of the Oasis in order to get some wards down um, and make sure that we have vision of any areas that they might be in uh, making desperation plays and trying to get picks on us. Another really important thing to point out, um, even though we are winning this game pretty decisively in kills, um, you don't want to just continue to um, play the game like it's a bloodbath. Uh, even though kills are super nice and they're going to get you the lead, uh, essentially what's going to win you the game is, is taking down towers and getting to that nexus. So even though we're up 27 to kills to 8, uh, there's not much chance that we're going to lose this game. I need to make sure that I'm still focusing in on the towers and making sure that we're making our way towards the nexus. Again, going back to what I was talking about earlier about how you never want to be alone by yourself as a support. Um, right now, I kind of caught myself slacking off, sitting in the wrong lane. Um, I was sitting mid when nobody else was really on my team mid. And I'm actually really strong right now, so I don't see how Ezreal will be able to fight me. Awesome. He's my W right here to get over the wall, drop a ward, and we're out. That's not a play that you should usually go for, but um, that also has to go along with uh, knowing your limits as a champion. Uh, the more you play your champion, the more you'll understand what kind of damage you're capable of. And that was a play or, that I knew I was capable of, of doing just because of how bad I was. As well as that right there. Um, kind of a greedy play to go for um, because I'm so low. And if they had turned on me, um, had any of their abilities ready, then I might have died there. Um, but they weren't anticipating it. And because I played Rakan quite a bit, I know what I'm capable of. And I know that I'm able to go for that play and get out safely. Solid. I was just now trying to bag, it looks like TS gonna pour in on me. I don't think Katarina needs me in this play, but I'm here just in case. I'm going to shield at least for the assist, and that's going to be the game. Really quick, easy game. Not sure if I'm going to be able to upload this to the YouTube channel uh, because of how fast it was. But I think, nonetheless, that was a really solid game. I think I played really well. Uh, my decision-making and my movements around the map were pretty good for the most part. 
Um, I was caught slacking off just a little bit towards the end of the game uh, because of how much it seemed like this game was pretty much over. Um, but even in those situations, you want to make sure that you're still um, pushing your pedal to the middle. And make sure that you're doing anything you can to end that game as fast as you can. Um, with that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, maybe this ends up on the YouTube channel. Maybe it doesn't. Um, but thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.